Ian Dalton Thornton, and I run the Bay Area, Oakland branch of Publication Studio. When I was at Caddis the other day, um, I was helping Culpa Press, and also Caddis was collaborating on, on this installation of a project that Culpa was doing um, called the Riso Book, which is kind of riffing off of Siegelob's um, Xerox book. Publication Studio was founded in Portland, and a few years after it was founded, um, Coulter Jacobson started the Bay Area branch. Um, I had been working with yet another branch in Massachusetts, and when I moved back to California, I kind of met up with Coulter and started helping him out. And after a couple years of that, he decided to step back and just focus on his own studio practice. And since then, I've been the sole person running um, Publication Studio in the Bay Area. One thing that's important is that they're all fairly autonomous. They're financially autonomous, they're kind of ethically autonomous, and that allows for there to be kind of different, I think, aesthetics and working approaches to develop. And of course, those two things inform each other. Um, so still, the kind of central hub is the one in Portland, run by Patricia No and Antonia Pinter. And they, um, I'm in pretty frequent contact with them. I went and visited them a couple weeks ago, and they are a very consistent source of advice and resources and encouragement. Um, but at the same time, I'm still totally free to do whatever I want to in the Bay Area and really run it as I see fit. It's, it's pretty flexible and in a way that is nice also, I think, and is in tune with um, what is shared between all the studios, which is essentially the same printing equipment that allows books to be made as they're ordered. And by not needing to produce overstock, even a, a run of 500 books or something, the, there's a much lower financial threshold to make a book. And so if there's an author who's excited, and I or whoever else am excited about making the book, then we can make a book and need relatively little money to make it happen. Just like a pretty simple um, toner-based office printer. Um, and then once we've printed out the book, we fold the cover around it, put it on this massive, very heavy guillotine, um, chop off the, uh, the sort of the inside cover of it, and then use this perfect binder to glue bind it. Um, and so you end up with a book that looks like this, and you know it's kind of a, a classic commercial paperback kind of bind where it's all just one signature adhered with glue to a, to a stiffer cover. Um, there's no sewing needed, no, no punching through the, through the book or anything. Bay Area Now.